Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. The familiar strains of the anthem serving to raise the levels of expectation even higher. I think we can have a look at the starting lineups now. There's the whistle. Over to the left. Tries a through ball. Lucas Vasquez. Could move up a gear here. Going through. Hoists it high. And he's cut it out. Sergio Ramos, and the counter is on. Now the pass. And the ball is out of play. And it's Lucas Vasquez, looks to clip it forward. So what now? Now it's Benzema, dashing forward at pace. Looks to slip it through. Lucas Vasquez. In towards the... Towering header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. And he just whacks it away. Gets his foot in there. Breaks on here. Tries a through ball. He's through. 
A chance! The shot's on! That really should have hit the net. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Vent battles to win it back. Hit long and direct. Now here's the through ball. Lucas Vasquez. Casemiro. Carvajal. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. Looking for a decent ball in. Baran sticks in a foot to win it back. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Chip through. Forward it goes. Tony Kroos, still goalless. And it's Azar. Looks like a good ball through. There's the ball in. Great leap! Approaching the half-hour mark. That was good pressing. Forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Benzema. It's Asa! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. That's all. Right. Drives it in. And it's Modric. Real Madrid, disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. A real chance to break. Played out to the right. Pumps it into the area. Aimed long and direct. Azar. And now they can launch a counter. Modric. Kroos goes looking. Here it is now, surely! Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Good clearance now, can they make something of it? Out to the flank, Lucas Vasquez. A chance to play it in. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Tries to get it forward quickly. For Vent. And 
the referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we're underway again. Real Madrid can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Oh, good interception. Now a chance to break. Now the pass. Out wide to the right. Crossed in. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Oh, great ball! It's anyone's ball! He's had a shot! And that certainly packed a punch. Borussia Mönchengladbach have decided to take control of this second half. They're dictating the tempo. Done very well to intervene. Plays a clever pass. Tony Kroos. Oh, they can break here. Looks to slip it from... Can he score? He can pounce on that. It's a goal! The second half off to a spectacular start. Sommer did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Yeah, his instinct told him that the keeper would struggle to cope with that, so top marks for him following up. I think um, it's really sharp play, it was well read, and he was a little quicker than everybody else. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Real Madrid break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out. It's paid off here. Plays it out to the flank. Tony Kroos. Real Madrid have it back and they can go again. Tries to dink it in. Lucas Vasquez. And a shot! Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again. He really had to be at his best, didn't he? Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Lobs it in gently. Uh, it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Long and high towards the flank. Gets it back. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Point-blank header! Saved it! In he goes again! That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration.
Now it's Benzema. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Sergio Ramos positions himself well and cuts it out. Modric. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Benzema! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Real Madrid are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Plays it out to the wing. Chip through. Borussia Mönchengladbach are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Tony Kroos. It's a throw in. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired and the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened Played in this out case. to the wing. Beautifully done. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Deep cross. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. He's left his man. He's had a go. Really well taken goal. And with that goal comes comfort. Jim, your thoughts? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Looks to clip it forward. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Keeper's got good distance on that. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Solid, if not especially fancy. Always in control. They did enough to win it. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Real Madrid will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. My well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.